Thorwall, the Free City, one of the oldest cities in Aventuria, home to indomitable warriors and sailors, grown wealthy from many raids. The Orcs, black-furred hunters and warriors, ever in search of new prey and the scourge of mankind's northern outposts for centuries. It is the year 1008. This is the story of a sword that has been lost for hundreds of years, yet may determine the future. Many hundreds of years ago, the Thorwallians raided the hated slave trader cities to the south. They were led by Hetman Hegelik, whose name was feared in every city along the coast. Laden with treasure, the dragon boats returned home, all but Hegelik's ship, which sailed for the Cyclops Islands where he would forge a sword needed for his next raid, Grimry, Orc Splitter. Higelik's next expedition took him into Orkland, the only place in Aventuria from which no human had ever returned to make a map. of the survivors of Hygelic's expedition are said to possess a map to the place where the legendary sword is hidden. If only someone could find it and show the orcs that humans are the superior race, a woman says. Enter the tavern. It is poorly frequented. The innkeeper glances at you, then continues cleaning a number of pitchers, mugs, and carafes with a dirty cloth. You sit down. The innkeeper looks at you inquiringly. You're a motley lot. What can I get you? The innkeeper fills some tankards and puts them on the counter with a happy sounding, There you go. 
The innkeeper doesn't pay you any more attention and busies himself with the other patrons at the bar. The innkeeper grins from ear to ear and thumps an empty wooden mug on the counter. Did you hear that? These travelers here are buying around. Thank you. I appreciate generous custom like yours. The innkeeper pockets the money, raises his tankard, and calls out to the taproom. Three cheers for our benefactors. The other patrons join in, and both maidens of easy virtue and rogues sidle up to you. There still isn't much happening here. Only one new patron arrived during the last hour, seating himself at the counter. Do you want to... You order a hearty meal. The dish of the house the innkeeper recommended is oozing. The innkeeper brings pitchers to you. I'll have some time for you soon. The regulars will be going home soon. Just wait a little longer. You drink your beer, examine the dirt beneath your fingernails with interest, and wait. The innkeeper comes back to you after about half an hour. All right, out with it. You wanted to ask me something, didn't you? Well, I know a lot, just as an example. But I don't know if that's of any use to you, of course. Well, I'm glad I was able to be of help to you, the innkeeper said. There still isn't much happening here. Only you pay for your last beer. The hetman's otter skin rises because of the call to arms, I see. Let's see if there even was a call to arms. Hmm, more imports of Fountlandian potatoes. An application for a vote in Hjalding. Major weddings. Plan X. Heroes wanted. You don't look like farmers, merchants, jarls, or specialists for Plan X. So you must be heroes. Well, come along then. One of the guards lead you into the large storage, where Hetman Tronda is brooding over old maps by the light of several candles. After you have politely introduced yourself, we do not need these niceties. So you think you are able to survive the wilderness for months on end? To find something where you don't even know what it is? Indeed, that's what I call courage. Right to business. Thorwall is in grave peril. Orcs are gathering in the upper Bodir Valley and it looks like they have united behind one leader now. If the auguries are accurate, then they will number in the thousands this time. We must prevent the orcs from reaching Vilnholme, else war will be inevitable. I have studied the ancient sagas and realized that the best thing we can do is impress the orcs, and preferably their chieftain, so much that they abandon their plans. Magic would actually be best suited to the task, but you know what it's like. Spellcasters are either incompetent or on the wrong side. So we need a different method. There was a weapon lost in Orkland dozens of years ago. Grimring, the sword of the famous Hetman Higelik, whose expedition never returned. His grave must be somewhere in Orkland, and his sword is probably there as well. 
They say the orcs were in terror of the weapon then, and their shamans, or whatever they're called, supposedly have a long memory. If we could get our hands on this weapon, and a brave warrior could teach the orcs a lesson with it, we would have won half the battle. They'll either scatter, or else their morale will be weakened to the point that we easily force them to retreat. Well, now that you know what this is about, do you still think you have the courage to go on this quest? I can give you a letter granting you equipment from the armory, and you will be richly rewarded on your return, of course. One piece of advice. As far as I know, a direct descendant of Higelik, one Isleif Olgardson, lives in Stonrock. Why don't you try your luck there? May Swafnir's blessing and the Twelve be with you.